More bad news for Diddy. Guys, listen up. What's up, YouTube? More bad news for Sean Diddy Combs. That's right, I said it, guys. More bad news for Sean Diddy Combs. Hey, guys, I'm Corey, and welcome to my channel, Let's Talk with Corey. If this is your first time tuning in, hit that subscribe button. But before I get into it, wherever you are in the world today, I mean wherever you are in the world today, I really do hope you're having a great day. This article comes via the New York Post. That's right, guys. Sean Diddy Combs, more bad news, is dropped by powerful NYC attorneys. But of course, it says not because of Lady Gaga, the firm claims. This is a powerhouse Manhattan law firm, Grubman, Shire, Mycelis, and Sachs, which reps most heavy hitters in the music industry, has kicked the renegade rapper Sean Diddy Combs to the curb. The decision was part to part ways with Mr. Combs was proactively made by the partners in the firm a number of months ago, as they felt it was the right thing to do, a spokesman for the law firm exclusively told Page Six. News Nation reported Saturday that Lady Gaga told the firm to either drop Combs, who is facing mounting SA allegations, or she would walk away. Wow, so we're talking about Lady Gaga here. And it further states that the report that the decision was the result of client pressure just isn't true, the firm spokesman claimed to the Post. So in other words, they're saying not because of what Lady Gaga said. So again, this is coming from New York Post, guys. The unnamed insider reportedly told the News Nation that the poker face singer said she was leaving the firm if they didn't drop Diddy. Again, this is an unnamed source, guys, not me. It says it further states that, but a source but a source who knows the singer told Page Six that convo, convo never happened. Uh, the firm dropped the rapper due to the assault allegations, the source told Page Six. Diddy was the law firm's client for more than 20 years. He was buds with legendary lawyer Alan Grubman, even known to stop by his Hampton Digs before the mogul's fall from grace. The News Nation report said the firm's biggest fear was that a Gaga goodbye would trigger a race to the exits by other bold-faced artists. The Dispatch said, "Grubman, a founder of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, became the first practicing lawyer to be inducted there in November of 2022. Past and present clients include Elton John, Barbara Streisand, Little Nas X, The Weeknd, Madonna." U2 and Drake. Combs has been perna sana grata ever since reports surface of alleged twisted conduct. Mayor Adams revoked Combs' key to New York uh, less than three weeks ago after a shocking video leaked of the rapper Mogul beating you know his ex, uh, the Post previously reported. The key was returned after Adams fired off a June 4 letter to Combs according to the Fabian Levy, Deputy Mayor for Communications. Combs also scrubbed his Instagram last week. So guys, it's just a spiraling snowball that it seems to just be getting bigger and bigger. And now the firm that has represented Diddy for more than 20 years is basically cutting him loose. So guys, what's your thoughts about this? As always, guys, leave a comment. Your opinions matter. But uh, Sean Diddy Combs is really going through it. Whether it's been well-deserved or not, who can say? But apparently, there's a lot of uh, entities that are turning their back on. Guys, you leave a comment. And as always, thanks for the pull-up. Let's talk with Corey. Let's talk with Corey out.